all right so what's up everyone i am back and today i am speaking about cupcake moscato so before anyone says anything yes i know moscato is a dessert wine i actually have um a fairly decent knowledge of wines and you know all that good stuff so anyways this is moscato this is a cupcake moscato and i've tried several kinds of moscato be it high end lower end um pretty much everything in between i've also tried uh, other brands um um, and other kinds of wine as far as like your Sauvignon Blanc and Jura Chardonnays and all that good stuff but I'm the kind of person that one I do not drink red wine just because it stains your teeth and I do not really drink uh, bitter wines I don't really like anything that's bitter but as far as your Moscato you'll want to drink this pair this with uh, your desserts or if you're interested in just drinking it because you prefer a sweeter wine then by all means, you know, have at it. So, uh, like I said, this is the Cupcake Moscato and I'm gonna open it and then I will come right back. Okay, so now that I have the bottle open, basically, you know, you can be like some people will say, let it breathe, or you can just go ahead and pour. So, and this is gonna be, it's fizzy, it has a fizz to it, as you can see. We'll be all good once they get a uh, smell of vision. <laughs> but, anyways, um, so you can see it, it has a fizz. It is very crisp, very clean, um, nice on the palate. It doesn't really have that sour or um, bitter taste as far as some of them, uh, some of the wines do. The reason I like this one the most is because I, since I'm not really a big wine drinker, I have that benefit of being able to enjoy a wine that isn't sour or bitter. I don't have to worry about the red staining my teeth and all that good stuff. And this is actually one of the better Moscatos. So, I mean... It costs, give or take, I think, believe it's between nine and 12. Um, you can find this at your local stores. Um, I'd say your grocery stores or your liquor stores, depending on how they sell liquor in your state. But yes, it is very palatable for someone who is either new to wine or, uh, you know, they just look, they're looking for something that's a little bit sweeter. And they prefer a sweeter, more you know, dessert juice type of wine. This will go great with that. And it goes great with fruit, fresh fruit. Um, if you want to make, I don't know, some kind of a juice mixture with it, it goes well with it. It pairs very nicely. Other Moscatos on the market that are really nice, I don't believe it has a fizz, is the Barefoot Moscato. Um, that one's really palatable as well. Uh, like I said, Moscatos, they come in a variety. You have red Moscato, you have rose Moscato, rose Moscato. I was interested in a cupcake brand because every time I seen it, I was like, does it taste like cupcakes? But no, not really. But it is nice. It's a very nice wine. Um, let's see. I'll show you guys the, they have a red velvet and I don't know when it came out, but they do have a red velvet and i will show it to you hold on let me grab it off my rack okay so although i said i do not drink reds and i don't but this would be their red velvet and you know your reds are going to pair nicely with your red meats your steaks you know um your uh red sauce type, type dishes so if you're doing something that has a tomato based sauce It'll pair nicely with that. Some people drink their reds and smoke cigars, or you can have your whiskeys with that, or cigars, but that's a whole nother liquor, a whole nother beverage. And then the, um, I don't have any of the Barefoot Moscato, but I do have this Barefoot. And this is what it looks like if you've never seen a Barefoot before. It comes, I think it's a teal label, and it's a clear bottle, and that's the Moscato from Barefoot. But outside of that, yes, the 
Cupcake Moscato is really nice. And like I said, I just grabbed these off the rack to show them to you because I've been speaking about the Barefoot brand and the Cupcake brand. And, you know, if you're interested in trying something new, give those a try. They're not too heavily priced. Um, so it's really, you know, something that you can grab if you don't like. You won't feel too bad about spending too much money on it. Um, I believe the Moscato by Barefoot, sometimes you can get it for like six dollars but yeah i mean try it out let me know how you guys like it and if you try out the barefoot as well let me know how you guys like that one and like i said if you're new to wine start small and build your way up if you're gonna try them out don't go for the high-end ones first because sometimes they you know they're not palatable and you've wasted your money and not interested in it like i said reds go with your, your meats your red sauces um things like that your whites the Moscato is going to go with your desserts, um, fruit, something like that, after dinner wine. Um, and then your Merlots, your Chardonnay, or your, I'm sorry, your Chardonnays and things of that sort will go with white sauces, um, seafood, um, stuff like that. All right. So until next time, take care.